Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Steph and this week I'm going to be bringing you a bit of a different video for my channel. I usually only post Cricut Machine content um, but I thought for a change I would show you my weekly cleaning routine. Um, it's nothing professional and I probably do things completely different to other people but I love cleaning, I love organising and so I thought I would just share this on my channel. So let me know if you like it. Uh, but just while I'm also filming this, I just wanted to take the opportunity to say a massive thank you to anybody that subscribed to my channel or liked or commented on one of my videos. It really means a lot and I'm just so, so grateful. And yeah, I just really hope that you keep liking the videos and also let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd like to see me film. Okay, so let's get on into the video. Okay, so to kick off my cleaning routine, I always start in the kitchen area. I just feel like it's the main area of the house and I'm so lucky in our house because it does include our dining area and the lounge room. It's all like one big room. So it feels like I can do that pretty easily. And most days it only takes me a couple of, I'd say 20 minutes or so to just go around it all. Um, but yeah, I do like to start in the kitchen, making sure that all the areas are clean and the dishes are clean from the night before, whatever's in the sink, the dishwasher's emptied and put away. And then once all that is dried and put away, I fill up the sink with some hot soapy water and usually I'd like a bit of disinfectant. I really like the Seflora disinfectant, so I put a bit of that in and then I just go through and wipe through all of the surfaces, all of the cupboard fronts and down the back of the sides, anywhere that um, just needs a clean really. It's a white surface, so um, pretty lucky it doesn't stain, it sees a stone, so it just wipes down and it just got a few finger marks on it, so I just go through wiping every single area that I can. I try to do this almost every day and then deep cleans like the oven, the stove, the hob, the fans, um, they're probably maybe once a week depending on how dirty they are. Then I'm moving on to the lounge area and I always start by just backing the mat, rolling it up and moving it out of the way and it just gives me a nice clear space to then focus on the sofas. Um, these sofas, although we try not to eat on them, we always end up having snacks and there's just always marks and crumbs everywhere so um, they recline so we can kind of get underneath them and remove all of the dust and any crumbs and food um, but they're a really good material as well and they just wipe down really easily so I just use um, some hot soapy water, wipe it all down and then finish with a vacuum and they come up really well. So I just go through both the sofas doing that. My dog likes to climb all over the sofas and he leaves his hair absolutely everywhere. So that's probably like the biggest effort for cleaning these sofas. Then going through and just cleaning like the media area. This PlayStation, by the way, if you have a PlayStation at home, I really recommend cleaning it inside because it's absolutely full of dust. Once I've done that area, I'm just moving on to the dining room table and just giving it a once over and just making sure that there's no fingerprints, everything's got clean of dust and yeah, just giving it a little spruce. I try to change the dining room table display every now and again, um, depending on what my mood is and I've took it off there, you can see, and then I just go through the house and see what else I can rearrange it with. Going through, giving it a nice vacuum and just making sure that the chairs don't have any marks Okay, so once I vacuumed and mopped everywhere, I just use that mop there and just really wring it out because obviously it's laminate flooring and I don't want to put a load of water on it. Um, but I find that that's the best thing that works. I then just go back to setting back up the living room. I need to put that throw back on the sofa because the sun comes through that and just bleaches the back of the sofa. Rolling out the rug again making sure that everything's nice and straight and then I can go through and mop the long hallway. This hallway is about 11 meters long, so it's so useful um, to just have a nice open space. And I love it, it's one of the things that I love about the design of the house. 
like how every room just kind of comes off it but it definitely is a dust collector and you can see footprints as soon as you walk down it so I just like to mop it every couple of days. This is one of the rooms that's just off the hallway it's our movie room and um, we don't sit in here a lot maybe just like on the weekend to watch movies so it doesn't need much of a clean just a nice vacuum and tidy and then this bathroom is our powder room which comes off the hallway so I like to keep this really nice and I like to keep this looking nice if we have any guests so just going through making sure that everywhere is wiped down clean and free of dust and germs making sure that I've disinfected the sink and the toilet area and then going through with a mop this is a different mop head that I use for my bathrooms by the way so once that's all dry I can go back through and start putting all the things back in place. That's my favorite part of tidying the house. I like to empty everything out and then put it all back in nice and tidy. And I usually rearrange things around as well. I've got three bathrooms, so I just swap the displays around. And if I see any nice little trinkets um, that I think will look nice in there, I just try to make a nice display. So that's the powder room, all nice and tidy. And Okay, so a different day now and I am doing my daily clean of the stairs and just under the stairs there we have our shoe cupboard so I'm just making sure that's all nice and tidy. Um, the stairs are pretty easy to clean, just make sure that there's no dust on them, go through and polish all the um, banisters and then just do a vac and just try to get off the endless amounts of dog hair. I'm pretty lucky, his hair... Um, if you just wipe it with a wet towel, it comes up in like a ball, so that's really good. But yeah, the stairs um, are a bit of a workout. There are two flights. Okay, so now I'm moving down the end of the house where we have our study area. I love this room. It gets so much light and my dog likes to sit in the front window and just watch the day go by. Um, but And it takes hardly any time to clean it. So I'm just giving it a nice polish there and a vacuum. I don't know whether you can tell but I just really don't like clutter so there's not many ornaments around and everything is kind of to a minimum. Carrying on with the vacuuming and then I think I'm going to move on to this spare bedroom. So this is our fifth bedroom of the house. We call it the day room. Um, it used to be a lounge room but we converted the hallway so we could add some doors some sliding doors and it's the best thing we ever did we put this bed in there and have just turned it into a lovely guest room but we all like to just go in there for different reasons just like to watch some nice tv it's just a really nice relaxing room and with the window open there the sun comes through and it just is such a nice feeling so i always go for a nice simple bedding and just make sure it looks nice clean and tidy a nice vacuum and polish and then that's that room done okay this is our downstairs cupboard it's the cupboard where we just shove absolutely everything and it's been bugging me for so long and it's been school holidays here in australia so i thought a perfect opportunity to sort this cupboard out i began by just pulling absolutely everything out of the cupboard and here it all is i don't know how much all this stuff fitted in this little cupboard here so I just went through, reorganised, tried to make some space free where I could. I packaged down some of the big boxes and got rid of a lot of clutter. I really wanted to make this cupboard into my cleaning cupboard. So I tried to leave a space free on the shelf for my cleaning items. I just find it a nice way to store cleaning items all in one place. And also I wanted to make some extra, extra space for when we go to Costco and do a bulk buy. And you can see here I've made quite a little bit of room on the shelves. And so when we go to Costco, which we actually did this weekend, we have filled it all up now with all our bulk buy items, which I'll show you at the end of the video. 
Okay, now I'm moving on to the upstairs rooms. So this is our upstairs lounge room. It's a really nice open big room and we don't really sit in it that often. Sometimes on the weekend we might have a movie night up here so we bring all the duvets and blankets in here and it's just nice and cosy upstairs. So just giving it a little clean with a vacuum and polish, making sure it's all nice and straightened. And moving on to the next room. So down that little hallway is where we have three bedrooms, including my two sons' rooms, a bathroom and a toilet. There you can hear my dog barking at the vacuum cleaner. And just on the landing there is this big um, linen closet. And it has been another one of my projects that I just wanted to do for so long. So I pulled everything out of it, got rid of a heap of old blankets and gave those to charity, all my old towels and threw away a lot of things that we just don't use and refolded everything and put them back in nice and tidy. I also just wanted to go through all the bed linen and see what bed covers I actually had. And now we're moving on to the master bedroom, uh, mine and my husband's room. I'm just changing the bed covers there and giving everywhere a nice polish and tidy and vacuum. I love this bed. It's a nice big super king bed. And I've got two boys as well. So we always end up in there all together. So it's nice and big and spacious. Um, now I'm just making the bed again. I need to invest in some new pillows. There was one there in the middle that I just wasn't happy with in a minute and I run off and change it. So, just making the bed. I absolutely love making beds and making them look all nice and new and fresh. There you go, I'm running off to change that pillowcase cover. I always go for such a simple bedding and just throw on a nice throw and some throw pillows, making it just look nice and neutral. I love neutral colours. A nice back and polish. And that's that room done. Moving on to the next project, which is mine and my husband's wardrobe. Again, it was just a place that I really just wanted to sort out and it had been on my mind for a long time. So over the school holidays, I just did it. I went through, pulled out all the clothes that we don't use changed some of the hangers, folded up some of the things that don't need hanging anymore. It's winter here in Australia now, so I pulled out a lot of my summer items and just folded them up and put them away in the drawers. And it was amazing how much space I made. I got two big bags to take to the charity shop and um, gave it a good polish and a clean and tried to coordinate all my clothes into colour coordination. Right, moving on to my son's bedroom. This is my oldest son's room. And every now and again, I like to just go through, obviously I change the bedding every uh, week, but I like to go through and dust. And my way of cleaning is I like to move the room around. So here I am just taking absolutely everything out of the room and cleaning it in the process. He's got so many action figures and trinkets and Lego pieces. Um, that I have to be really careful when I'm tidying his room in case I break anything, he will notice. So just going through, making sure it's all nice and backed. And then I'm just gonna shuffle the bed over to the other side of the room. And then I can bring back in all of his units and action figures, etc. Here they all are now. I love these little units. They're just from a place called Target and they were so reasonably priced, but they're just perfect for boys' bedrooms. And here's all my son's um, collectibles that are his pride and joy and yeah, he absolutely loves them. He's doing a YouTube video on them himself, explaining about each one. So I'll leave that link down in the description for you, if you'd like to have a look. Making his bed, and for the life of me, I could not find the other blue pillowcase. I don't know what's happened to it. So 
That was quite frustrating, but um, I'm sure it will turn up. My son's 14 and um, he's got a queen size bed here, so pretty lucky that they're good size rooms. Just giving it a nice back and a polish now. Just making sure that it's all nice and tidy and then I move on to his wardrobe area. stay tidy. Outlook not so good. And here is my son's room all nice and tidy and I am going to now move on to the next room. So here is our master bathroom and I've just done the same process as I do with every room, take everything out and then put it all back in after I've cleaned it. So just making sure that all the sides are wiped down and disinfected. The mirrors are all cleaned and buff and then the shower scrubbed. And I like to use this um, window cleaner in the shower area and it just really helps. Um, we, with every shower that we have actually, we keep it in there. And then after every shower we wipe down the windows with that window cleaner. Going through making sure it's got a nice clean floor backing and mopping everywhere. Just got some disinfectant there and then I also put some Zaflora dust down just down into the sinks and uh, any plugs. Now that's all clean I can go back in and make sure that everything is put back in all nice and tidy. So that is the linen basket and the bin put back in and hanging up some towels and making sure that my display looks really nice in the bathroom now too. I love nothing better than a nice clean house and it feels like such an accomplishment when it's all nice and tidy. I should say by the way that I'm really lucky that I don't work currently and I do have a lot of spare time in the day to do this. I realise that not everybody has this time. Also, my children are pretty grown up now. I've got a 10 year old and a 14 year old. So they're at school all day and they're not messy anymore. But I do remember the frustration of when they were toddlers and couldn't keep on top of the tidying. So yeah, it's one of my pleasures to clean and I'm just so lucky that I get to clean and look after our house every day. I don't do this every day, by the way. So there we are, a nice clean bedroom and a nice clean bathroom, all nice and shiny. And here we have the finished result, a nice clean house, nice clean study area. The day room. I'm pretty sure this was on a different day when I filmed this too <laughs> but as I said before I'm pretty lucky that it just stays pretty clean. I just need to keep on top of the dust in this house. It's a pretty new area where we live so it's pretty prone to dust and obviously dog hair. You can see him there. <laughs> he's a Pomeran uh, Pomeranian Chihuahua so um, he's really fluffy. to the lounge area and then this is the downstairs cupboard and this is Travis that's his name Travis this is his cupboard because it's got his dog lead in it so he thinks he's going on a walk now and there are a few items that we got from Costco and you can see how much storage I created there which has been so handy up the stairs, up into the top area and up into the top room and the bedrooms and yeah 
that is it for my weekly clean. Showing you all the bedrooms. That's my other son's bedroom there and the spare bedroom. And then also we have another bathroom and a toilet here as well. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and complete the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it's filmed okay. Um, this video is filmed over a couple of days in the week and um, yeah, I'll, we'll be back again with another video. Thank you again to all the subscribers and I will see you again soon. Bye.